Well, today I got a little easy project. It's putting a new pump on this pressure washer. This has a 13 horsepower Honda GX390. And I'm gonna switch it from AR pump, that's a gear driven unit, to this replacement from CAN pump. All right, let's get started. First step is I'm gonna have to take this hose reel off because there's just not close to enough room. Uh, it's already disconnected from the pump. I'm, I can reinstall this later. But it's pretty simple. It's just two bolts and should be up. And I loosened these up already because I wasn't sure how tight they were. All right, remove the bolts. Just a matter of pulling this off now. Now it's time to remove the pump. I believe these are 9 sixteenths. Yep, and I loosened them already. So let me uh, see how easy these come out. There's a spacer behind this. On all four of these, there's spacers. And the only thing I did before was crack these loose. Uh, I've never taken the pump off this unit before. So hopefully it had anti-seize on it. And I don't believe this has any sort of grub screw on the crankshaft. All right, so it's coming off. Good. Move this wrench. Just kind of shaking it to pull it. There it, there it is. So let me line the crankshaft up horizontally and get some grease to put on the shaft for the pump and then get the pump ready. All right, so I'm just gonna put some grease on here so the new pump doesn't stick. It looked like they had anti-seize on there before because I see the silver around here and the unit came off pretty easy. So, and then I'm gonna install the pump and then install everything on from there. So the pump just slides right on. Make sure the key is aligned. And then put the bolts on that hold it. Uh, I am just going to leave these spacers so they don't get lost in case I need them, you know, another time. So probably should get lock washers. These are just spacers, uh, but you know, this depends on what hardware is coming off your unit. And then I like to tighten these up by hand at first. And then once all four are tightened by hand, use a wrench. All right, this was a 9 sixteenths. Oh, that's not going to fit. Hopefully, this one will. Yep. All right. 
two done. Three. Four. Next up, I have the grub screw ready. So I think this was a three millimeter uh, Allen key and just line it up. Alrighty, so I had to do something. So finish tightening up the, the set screw here on the key. So that's good. Next, I'm gonna put in, switch the cap on the pump. So this is the shipping cap and I'm gonna put in the vent cap. You need to get a socket on here. And I personally like to keep these just in case, whatever, you take the pump off, it's better to store it with, the, with this cap since it's not venting. You know, you're moving it, you put it in a truck or something that way in case it rotates, it doesn't leak oil everywhere. So I like to keep those. I'll keep it with everything else. So I got the pump screws on, the set screw, the vent cap switched. Now it's time to put on the unloader. So this, I'm doing like the factory setup, uh, which the unloader, it, I believe it came in two pieces, but just make sure there's oil on here when you slide them together. And you would change this if you want to do like an external tank. Make sure the filter is in place there and you have your O-rings. So, oh, missing one of the O-rings there, it fell off. Which makes sense because when I went through everything, I found an O-ring in the box and it also includes multiple extra O-rings. Anyway, so place the O-ring on. So now I have O-ring here, bottom, O-ring top. Hold on, let me get the right wrench for this. Actually, I'm gonna have to grab a socket set. So I could not find a socket that fit these in my uh, set that I, ha I have access to right now. So I'm gonna use crescent wrench. thing is first I'll start them like that one started all right both are started now and these are a different size so the bottom one's a little bigger uh, the set I have access to only went up to 19 millimeters and I believe these are metric since typically the pumps are metric except for the shaft uh, so and then I'm tightening these both a little at a time so they go in pretty even you know it doesn't have to be perfect but I don't want to have, you know, uh, a huge difference between one side is the top to the bottom. And like on a lot of this stuff, I always start it by hand because that way, you know, you minimize the, the threat of cross threading. So that's done. That's done. 
and I'll check around here too, you know, just to make sure. I don't see the O-rings popping out, so it looks like everything's seated correctly. Another thing, always check the oil level. This, these can pumps come pre. Yes, uh, contact the info for Kurt. These can pumps come pre-filled with oil, so it's about halfway. You'll see a line, but it's always good to check, and then you can see how dirty the oil is through here too. All right, so next thing to do. I have to put my hose reel back on, but I'm also going to put my soap hose on here. And if these don't want to go on, you know, spray a little WD-40 on there or use a pair of pliers to get them on so it's fully on. Let me put the hose reel on, and then I'll turn you back. So the hose hose reel's back on. Just a matter of popping that in, and completely done. So that's how you switch the pump out on a Honda GX390 from a previous pump, if it's AR or CAT, or Comet, whatever, to a cam pump. Well, hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching, and then as you can see, on the GX390. Pretty simple, probably about you know, 20 minutes worth of work. If your pump goes, do it yourself and save the money.